Summertime is great for putting the top down on a convertible, going for a spin, and if you're a classic car lover, cruise nights go on all around the area. Yeah, one of the more popular car shows takes place in Sylvania on Monday nights. Hundreds of people bring their souped up hot rods out for a chance to show off as normal, but they can win some prizes as well. Joe Rignoski takes us to a show where burning rubber isn't just allowed, it is encouraged. Got a 1953 Chevrolet pickup and worked on it for three years. It's a classic car show with a different spin. And, and her social security check. What built this <laughs> machine right here? It's true. It's true. Welcome to Mayberry. <laughs> As we take a step back in time, where life is much simpler. I mean, there's a lot of love that went into this. Oh, oh yeah, by more than just me, believe me. Joe Haas spent six years refurbishing this Chevy pickup. Because uh, everything in it is brand new. It's every nut and bolt's been changed. It's a laid-back summer night where good folks gather to enjoy the pleasures of a forgotten generation. Bill Ursham has just 79,000 miles on this beauty. It's a 1950 old Super 88 convertible. An Oldsmobile, that is. Uh, it's been on the Today Show. It's been on the Indy 500. It's been up to Northeastern Michigan for the homecoming. Now, the nearest thing about this whole car show comes a little bit later. It's called the Burnout Nationals. Are you ready to burn some rubber? The burnouts are always awesome. <laughs> You like about the burnout national oh i just like i just like to see that old smoke come out and just all that kind of stuff i'm gonna burn out oh you are are you no kidding i might i don't know <laughs> here you don't have to be a burnout to burn out the object is to burn the rubber completely off the tires and smoke out your opponents it's a family fun way to spend an evening in classic fashion. Just a super night. Everybody's having a good time, and this is a really enjoyable time. It certainly is. Pennsylvania, George Oski, Fox Toledo News, first at four.